Hello from the beautiful Sadar, Croatia. So I think it's like day 16 from my four month backpacking trip through Europe. And I left the beauty of Slip behind and I'm now here in Sadar. I'm just sitting along the pier watching the waves crash, but now I'm gonna head into the old town and have a little explore. So this is my current view where I'm sitting and just relaxing. And we're gonna head that way towards the old town. <laughs> the construction work adds a little bit of an extra vibe. Don't you think? I think one of the best things about Sadar is its size because you can basically get anywhere in like 20 minutes, which is really nice. Um, but we're heading up into the old town now. It's so beautiful, ancient Roman ruins, pristine white, Croatian standards, really beautiful and super, super clean. This is the foot of the old town. It's basically like a giant natural museum. So we have all the ruins here. And then we have Anastasia's Cathedral, which is like the main part of Sadar, like the most iconic part of it. And we have the bell tower up here. And I think I'm going to go up because I want to see 360 views of the city. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So the ticket was 15 kuna, which is like 2 euro. Not too bad. And now we have all these lovely steps to climb. Okay, so the climb isn't too bad, but I'm not going to lie, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> it just goes around and around and around. But it's okay, we're nearly there. Look at that. Nice. I actually forgot the last time I was up here, I actually couldn't see over some of the barriers because I'm short. So I gotta go on my tippy toes. But that works. Very narrow. Okay, let's head back down. So in Sadar, there's like all this archaeological site with like ancient rooms just sitting in the city, just open for people to explore. And honestly, like I think it's amazing. Like it's a really, really fun city. And um, it's so small that you don't feel like it's overcrowded or anything, but really, really beautiful to explore. So right here is People Square, where basically you can go to get some food, do a little bit of shopping, and it's usually quite a busy place to walk around. But nice. So I decided to make my way up onto the bridge gate because there is a beautiful views of the bridge and then the other side of Sadar. It's pretty nice. So continuing on from the bridge is like this kind of like walkway. I don't know. And it's really peaceful here. You can hear the birds, you can hear the waves, you can hear the boats going by. And the city is insanely busy. So it's kind of nice. It's nice and peaceful. I'm heading towards the sea organ now. It's going to take me about nine minutes to get there. It's the best part of Sadar. So this here is called the Greetings of the Sun that I'm standing on here. And basically it was installed by the same person as the sea organ, which we're walking over to now. But it lights up at night, so once the sun sets, it's all solar panels and it lights up at night and people can dance on it and kind of have a good time. I love the concept, like it's such a clever idea. And then over here is the sea organ, which I'll explain a little bit more about in a minute. So basically this is installed so that you can hear the sounds of the sea. So when the waves come crashing in and the music comes out, through the organ so the way it goes in through here and then there's speakers over here that comes out I'll hold it a little closer and see if you can hear it So I've just been sitting here enjoying it because it's so relaxing and peaceful. The sea organ is definitely a must if you're going to Sadar. Um, I'm going to head and meet people from my hostel and we're going to go for a swim by the beach. But yeah, it's such a beautiful spot. I've actually been in Sadar for two days just getting some work done and I've came here every night for sunset. I'm going to do it again tonight. Um, but oh my god, they have been beautiful so far. So I went back to the hostel to get changed before I meet my friends to go to the beach. And I got a bit hungry so I bought myself a pizza. This is one slice. It's huge, 17 kuna. Nice lunch snack, pretty affordable. The water is so clear here. Trust me, it takes 12 minutes to walk to this beach that they're at and of course I went the wrong way. So I've had it like an extra five minutes onto my journey, but I've crystal clear water to look at and it's beautiful, so I can't complain. It's pretty nice though, it's so peaceful here. 
Like literally no one around. I like it. So if any of you were from my hostel, we jumped in, had a little spin, and now we're gonna go over to that. I wish I was brave, but I'm not. Woo! Good girl! So we ran back to the hostel, had really, 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 really quick showers, and now we're on our way to the sea urchin to have a few drinks and watch the sun go down. It's what you gotta do when you're in Sadar. So we made it just in time to get in all the beautiful colours. So this is Lindsay and she is like the best person ever. I'm not gonna lie. But she has a funny accent. Very Apparently, special. according to the Gracians, <laughs> she has special. a special accent. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it is busy here. But when you have a view like that, <laughs> it's really <laughs> Just listening to the sounds of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. It sounds quite peaceful, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So the sun has gone in, so that means this is gonna light up. Oh, that's pretty good. Good morning. So today we got on a ferry over to the island facing Sadar. Not 100% sure of the name, but I will leave it here. It only took like maybe 15 minutes and it was like two euro ferry, it was fine. Um, and now we're going on a hike up to the fort. I have my best friend here. <laughs> and then uh, friends who have long legs, so we'll probably be behind them the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been walking like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah like, so <laughs> like this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this really is a nice cool shade. Yeah. So the view from our beautiful standpoint. Um, nice so rest and a nice view. 45 minutes, 20 minutes, the one with no sign. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. This is the way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Left and then right. Yeah, he said straight, left, right, right. yeah. Five hours later. So we're up the top, sweaty, but the views make the climb worth it. Like, just to give you a reference, it's midday, so we started walking at like maybe half ten. So we came to the fortress up the top of the island, and this is our view. So in here is where we're going to have a little bit of lunch and the views are mighty. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. And wait, the best view is out this way. Sally, sorry. Oh yeah, thank you. Sally. Oh yeah, so there's a little... Amazing. Cool. So it is super breezy in here and cool, so I don't want to leave. I don't want to walk back down, but we got it. Look at that. How and now we swim. Need to jump. I'm half in, but it's cold. Bye. Really, honestly, so refreshing after the hike because we needed it. Like it was, it was hot. Um, and now we're gonna head back towards the ferry and back onto Sidor. So yesterday we ended up actually running for the boat, which seems to be a reoccurrence on this trip. I'm always running. And then we went for a nice meal and a little dance in Sadar because loads of us were leaving and we wanted to say goodbye because it was such a good group that we were hanging out with. And now I'm near Plip Beast National Park um, and we're heading there tomorrow. So that'll be in the next vlog. But I just wanted to end the Sadar vlog. It was amazing and a must if you're going to Croatia. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a big thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.